class, I wanted to give you a quick overview of the parts of the brain that we'll be covering over the next couple of days in class. Um, so very briefly, I wanted to go over um, three main parts, which are the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain. The forebrain consists of the cerebrum, thalamus, and hypothalamus. The midbrain consists of the tectum and the tegmentum. The hindbrain is made of the cerebellum, pons, and medulla. Often, the midbrain, pons, and medulla are referred together as the brainstem. The cerebrum, or the cerebral cortex, is the largest part of the human brain, associated with higher brain function and thought and action. The cerebral cortex is divided into four sections called lobes, which you see labeled in the picture below. There's the frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the occipital lobe, and the temporal lobe. What do each of these lobes do? Well, the frontal lobe is associated with reasoning, planning, parts of speech, movement, emotions, and problem solving. The parietal lobe is associated with movement, orientation, recognition, and perception of stimuli. The occipital lobe is associated with visual processing, so what we see when we look at something, and the temporal lobe is associated with perception and recognition of auditory stimuli, memory, and speech.